Lexington, Kentucky, and Rupp Arena, the same for the South Region on the road to the Final Four. And here are two games tonight. The opener, Indiana and Duke, the number one team in the nation against the Big Ten champion Hoosiers. And the winner will be starting lineup, Jeff Rees as a sophomore in All-America, Hornsby, Odell, Coverdale, and Fife. Dunleavy presents matchup problems, 6'9". He can play outside or inside. Jones, Boozer, Jason Williams. The college player of the year is a junior, and Chris Duhon, a tough defender. The officials tonight, Hall, Benedict, and Green. They're ready with the whistles, and this 22,000 capacity crowd is ready to roar. They've been cheering since they awakened this morning, and most of them are here to cheer against the favorite, the new Blue Dice. Duhon, Dante Jones, and in particular, Jason Williams. Oh, it bounced past the Dunleavy for the easy two. And they're letting them play. Open his fight. Indiana still scoreless. I'm a little surprised Indiana taking such quick shots. Boozer open in some 67. In the corner, Hornsby can't hit. Oh, my. start for Indiana. Red-headed Coverdale with a long pass to fight. He fires from three. There's the first score for the Hoosier. The guy that can score inside. So Daniel Ewing, the freshman, the only freshman on this new yeah, And here comes Perry, averaging just 2.2 points a game. Good feed inside to Newton, and another easy two. Two steals for Dunleavy. And Ewing fires for three. Oh, this kid from... Seven minutes Tech. gone. Duke building its lead. Boozer battling inside against Jeffrey. And that's his shot. Perry, the freshman, inside to Newton. Another turnover. And here comes Jason Williams. Oh, that's too easy. Five turnovers for Duke. Jeffries using the left hand and Newton there for the foul. Perry doesn't shoot much from out there. Odell able to save it for Indiana. And then it's inside to A.J. Moy, who has just come into the game. Newton and Moy on the floor. And another turnover for Indiana. Those are working now. Number five, that's George Leach. And Dudley, and there it is, an extra chance. Indiana not boxing out, didn't get it. And the fire by Duke. Playing against a team like Duke, you can't give them any kind of edge. Now, Jack Jeffries, he Entry to Jared Jeffries. Mike Davis wanted more of this as Odell gets the easy two. The reason Jeffries to Odell is so wide open, Mike Dunleavy in position to try to help out on Carlos Duke with that luxury of a 12-point lead with under six minutes to go in the half. And Jared Jeffries. Coverdale inside to Jeffries. This is the game plan. Jeffries, two for two in there. Punch it into Jeffries. Ewing. Oh, my. Two three-point attempts. For the Hoosiers. Spins around Ewing. Hands it off to Odell. Good play by Coverdale. Leads all scores with a dozen. Coverdale to Newton. So two nice assists. And an easy two from Duhon. Well, that's the that is the end of the first half. An impressive display by the number one team in the nation. The defending national champions score 42. Most of Indiana's defense-minded team has allowed all season in the first half. Boozer with 12. Dunleavy with 9. Duhon with 7. Jeffries led the Hoosiers in the first half with 8 points. A 13-point lead as we go to... And what has to concern uh, Indiana is the fact that they really shut down the two top scorers for Duke and yet uh, trail by 13 and it's turnover 16 to 8. Jeffries, and this one trickles home, and it's 
Still in the dribble, off to Ewing, pulls up for a pass to Williams, three-pointer on the way, way off the mark, rebound batted out, Williams has got it again, drives in the right side, throws it out to Ewing, Ewing fakes, throws it into Duhan, Duhan drives, he throws it to Booster, plays out of bounds! <laughs> One minute and 18 seconds to go, Indiana's got the basketball. What would a basket do to this Duke team right now? Come on, Hoosiers, how about a basket here? Coverdale will bring it up. Tom crosses the timeline. Takes it to the right side. Gives to Moye. Moye got hit by Ewing. No call. Down low to Coverdale. Coverdale works on Duhon. Turns, puts it up, and... Got it! Ewing! Yes! Coverdale is sixth one of the game. Indiana lead. 72 to 70. The first time that Indiana's had the lead, I believe. Now in backcourt, Williams drives it out to Ewing for a three-pointer. No good. Rebound batted up. Jeff Duke with a rebound. Gets it to Moye. To Coverdale. Here come the Hoosiers. 35 seconds to go. Coverdale in backcourt and a timeout call. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Indiana. 72. Duke 70 with 32. Here's Tom Coverdale. He looks, having trouble, finally gets it in to Dane Fife, throws it in to Moye. Moye turns around, drives it left, he got foul. the ball stripped yeah. of the foul. They Come call on. a foul against Duke. And they're going to nail the personal on Duhon, his fourth. 
And going to the free throw line will be A.J. Moyer with 11 seconds left in the game. The Hoosiers are there as Moyer steps to the strike. A.J. with 12 points. Come on, make the first Two one. Two shots okay. coming. Make the first Moyer, one. Moyer, first one in the air. Go! Yeah! Come on, A.J. Moyer's got 13. He has one more shot coming. He can make it a two-possession game with 11 seconds. He eyes. He flies. He yeah! oh, Moyer with 14. Here comes Duke. Daniel Ewing driving right side. Three on the way. No good. Williams, three on the way. A foul. Oh, no! And he hit it. Jason Williams just hit a three-point shot. Coverdale fouled him. And he'll have a chance to tie the game at 74. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe what I just saw. I take it back. It was Dane Fife who was charged with a foul. So Fife picks up number four. Jason Williams with 15 points will have a chance to tie it with 4.2 seconds to go. He's got to get the rebound if he misses this. If he misses this and Duke's able to get the rebound, they can win this ball game. Four seconds left. Williams at the free throw line. Not a good free throw shoot. Shot is up. Missed it. Oh, he no. Boozer. He missed. Tip up now. No, 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 no. Wow. They got us. And we had a shot. They shot the ball. And they are worried at the mid-court line. These two ball clubs going crazy. The Hoosiers have beat Duke, 74 to 73. Mike Davis in front of the Indiana crowd, hands in the air, Todd Coverdale, and now he picks up Coverdale right in front of us. Absolutely incredible. And the two ball clubs now are shaking hands. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I love you, Don. I love you, Don. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tom Coverdale, Dane Fife. <laughs> and they are fighting in front of us, but it is a playful fighting as Indiana has upset. The number one team in the country. We're here till Saturday, boys. Well, they are not quite number one right now. <laughs> but Indiana has beaten Duke. A standing room only crowd here. And Mike Davis is going crazy with Jeff Banner. He just hugs Jeff and Jeff Reese just comes over for the CBS interview. What an upset. The final score, 74-73. Indiana beats Duke. Can you believe it?